So more information about <coughs> the vowels. U, so this vav with a dot inside it, at the beginning of a word is pronounced u as in rude. So u. U mi. U mi. U mi. The hit with a pata underneath it at the end of a word is pronounced ach, ach, and not ha as you'd expect. So you go for up. You don't go for the letter down to the vowel as usual. But at the end you go up. Ach, ach. So ruach, ruach. Not rucha, but ruach, ruach. Nain at the end is pronounced ang, ang, and not nga, so ang, for example, ya do ang, ya do ang, ya do ang. For a beginner, the next point is um, the source of many nightmares. The letter shin, the dot showing sh and s also serves for the letter O with the invisible vav. So this dot has got an invisible letter vav underneath it. Um, and it serves as the O to the letter before, if that letter doesn't have a vowel. For example, here we have it. We have a bit and a shin and no vowel underneath. So there has to be one here. It's bo shu. So this dot telling us that it's shin and it's also o at the same time. So bo shu. The dot over the shin serves for o as well as for sh. It's doing two jobs. There's an invisible vav here in between the bet and the shin with the dot on top of it. Bo shu. The dot over the sin also can work and serve as its own vowel if there are no other vowel points. For example, here, there's no vowel underneath, and so we know there has to be a vowel. And we can't have a letter at the start of a word without a vowel. So, so, ne, so, ne. The dot here serving for the s and the o as well, with an invisible vav between the s and the n. So, ne, so, ne. Now, sometimes, the shin has got two dots, like this. Now, if there's no other vowel point underneath, then the dot on the left is for the point, and the sound is going to be sh, so it'll be sho, sho. So if you see this, most of the time it's going to be sho. Here we have it. There's no vowel underneath the letter, and so there has to be a vowel here, and so it's sho, bear, sho, bear. Ignore this um, anglicized pronunciation. English has shifted since this book was written, so this is not really helpful to us. Show bear. But if it has uh, another point, the dot on the right is the point. And the sound is s. So here, as you can see, underneath the shin, there is indeed a vowel. And so it's um, bo sim. Bo sim, bo sim, because this bet does not have a vowel underneath it, and it requires one. So this has to be the the vowel with the invisible vav here. So bo sim. It's quite logical if you know the rule that there has to be some kind of vowel. Um, so here's an invisible vav between the bet and the sin. Bo sim.